Dear Lori Halls Anderson, I'm sitting there, eyes locked. I try to be friendly by smiling, but all they do is grunt and turn away. This is my first experience on the fifth grade while trying to find a friendly face. That was two years ago, and also the first time I lost a good friend. Until now, I wouldn't connect this with anything or one. And then I was reading your book, Speak, and I felt like I was reliving the moment. Melinda's experience was similar to my own, but her friends had different reasons to ignore her. Because to this day, it confuses me. But we all meet new people and new things, good or bad. For Melinda, she lost her friends because she called the cops at a party. But for me, I didn't know the reason they didn't want to be friends anymore. But then I realized that for both me and Melinda, there could be and had to be more than one reason our friends didn't like us anymore. Maybe they thought we weren't a good person or just because we didn't talk much. I have to come to the conclusion that some things people have to be let go from your life, and sometimes you just have to deal with it. And the same goes for Melinda. Melinda's experience was traumatizing and made her socially awkward, but my experience made me want to make more friends. There wasn't a lot of backstory on Melinda's friends or how they met, but I had known my friends since third grade and we became friends because both of us had dads that were always out of town or on business trips and didn't know it, and we almost never saw them. I think Melinda and I were both confused about why they didn't want to be our friends anymore. To this day, I'm terrified that I might lose the group of friends I've made now. Speak is one of my favorite books, and if I hadn't read it, I never would have made this connection or realization. I hope to read more from you soon. Sincerely, Aiden Falls.